Hey, what's happening, guys? You remember our last video. I told you I didn't mean to make that video. I was preparing this little demonstration board here for a uh, video on how everything in Arduino boils down to an input, some sort of action taken on the input, and an output. You know, but when we tried this yesterday, I had all kinds of problems. It was like capacitively right coupling me. Here. You'll get an idea. So a little troubleshooting solved the problem. I, I kind of knew what it was. About an hour after I had published the video and I was sitting on the couch and I was thinking about it. I'm like, what did I forget to do? What did I forget to do? And then I thought about, you know, towards the end, I remember going over and looking at these switches and said, you know, I did the old, the old lightning bolt pattern thing. So, you know, you're going through the switch correctly. But then I'm thinking in, in my mind's eye, I can see this, this circuit board. I'm thinking, oh, there's no pull-up resistors. And I, that was okay because I had meant to set them in software and I forgot. And that was the whole problem. Because as you see now, green, yellow, oh, I missed that one, red, and the buzzer. So we've got it all straightened away now. Let me go over to the uh, computer and show you exactly what I did. I mean, it's really simple. Okay, so what I did is I simplified the code. I took out all of those four next loops and just wrote everything out, you know, line by line, button by button, LED by LED. But the biggest change I made is, of course, right here, which is what I meant to do in the first video but completely forgot so by setting the input as input underscore pull up those pins are now held high held to five volts so when we press the button grounding that particular pin there's no float it's either going to be at five volts or at zero volts so that was the problem and now it's solved so just quit going through the code we initialize our buttons as pull-ups. We initialize our LED and our buzzer as outputs. And we set everything as low. And then just for good measure here, I set everything as low again. I know it's redundant and bad programming, but uh, you know, I come from the Department of Redundancy Department. <laughs> Do it twice, right? So anyway, we just start looking at the buttons. We start pulling, we say if, Digital read 2, if button 2 is low, if button 2 has been pressed, then we're going to send a 1 kilohertz tone to pin 9. That's our buzzer. That tone is going to sound for one second, and then it's going to shut off. Then we're going to pull button number 3. If button number 3 is pressed, then we're going to turn on the green light for a second. Then we're going to turn it off. Same down the line. This one is for the yellow light. And this one is for the red light. And honestly, that's really all there is to it. So you see the simple solution. And as you can see, we have implemented it. No worries. So I'll give you a quick preview on what I'm trying to say in that video. Or what I will be trying to say in that video as it comes up is you have basically three things to your Arduino project. You have some way of getting an input into the Arduino. In this case, we're using the most simple thing in the world, push buttons. But this push button can be a stand-in for anything. It can be a stand-in for a passive infrared sensor or an audio sensor. All these things simply output a digital signal. Um, here is a microwave um, occupy sensor. You know, you put this in the room, somebody's in the room, somebody's on the other side of the wall, this thing will find them. Uh, here is a uh, flame sensor. Any of these types of things can replace the button because all they're doing is sending a signal back to the Arduino. And then the Arduino is doing what you tell it to do with that signal. In our case, we're just simply uh, making each button press correspond to a simple output over here. 
but the outputs can also be changed. You know, here is a uh, 16 by 2 I squared C display, or here is a uh, little 0.96 inch OLED display. You know, any of these types of things get swapped in and out for our simple uh, demonstration pieces here. And that is why I love Arduino. It is such a great teaching tool. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for uh, pointing it out. You guys all nailed it. It, it was floating inputs. So that's exactly what it was. And uh, something they taught me long ago in the Navy that uh, I wasn't doing, which is uh, paying attention to detail. That was the one thing they always stressed, attention to detail. I was not paying attention to detail. And I got burned. So, everything's in ship shape now all right guys that's it if you enjoyed this quick little video i hope you'll give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace